Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a monster or whatever you're doing to chase you, any coding or whatever. So I'm just going to spawn something in just for, uh, for like a little volunteer. I'm going to use this little block thing or something to be chasing me. And that's how we're going to start it off with. So first, you'll be going to go to gadgets. And you'll need to get a four or five variable variable chips, and it has to be like this. Just like that, and this will be in the middle. Actually, wait, no, you need only four. Only four, sorry. Actually, yeah, five. So once you do once you do that, once you get those, then you need to pull up. Trying to remember a roll. You need to get a roll chip and a roll mapper chip, so you can make a specified roll. Now that we got all the ch the chips, almost all of them ready. What you want to do is get four trigger volumes and make them. What, make them into when objects, I mean, keep track of objects, sorry. And you want to clone them, keep them the same size, and put them, rotate them, and put the, put them almost all the way in, well, like halfway, just like this. Just like that. After that, what you want to do is you want to make it so when entering zone, then you want to put them right. Then you want to wait. No, don't do that. Don't actually do that. And configure them and make it filter by tag. Only detect tag objects with tag one, two, three for every single one. When you're done doing that, once you what, what you want to do is you want to grab the object that you made and get a piston, not the CV2 piston, but like the Gizmo piston, and you want to spawn four two. Or four, and depending how far you want it to go. And put them to the side, but inside of it. On both sides. And put the actual, yeah, make, well, however your, your map looks, make uh, as many as you need. Like, it can only be up to four, though, I think. So, ignore the fact that I said that. It's for for when it turns or for when it moves. Don't clone them because it won't work that well. Let me get my remote real quick because I'm doing something. Wait. So you yeah, spawn four pistons in it. And put them all, you have to or it's not going to work. Put them all inside the trigger volume but touching the block. Let me just do that. Just like that. All have to be touching the block. Just like that. Right after that, what you'll want to do is you'll want to name the block. If you want any tag, just go to tags scrolling down and name it. Uh, whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it Monster and Add. After that, what you'll want to do is you want to spawn in a trigger volume because if it's chasing something, you uh, you have to add a trigger volume for it to when your player enters that zone, then it will that player will get teleported or killed depending on if you have a game over or something. I'll be showing you that later in this video. So, depending how big you want it to be, I'm just going to make it this tall, and 
can spawn in a respawn ship. I mean, respawn point, and put gra grab your wire on your maker pen. There's a little green one and red one. One says spawn player here now, and the other one says set team respawn point. Uh, you don't want to use that unless you're making like a game over thing, like when they get killed. So you want to go to spawn player here now, click and hold, and put it to when entering zone. So when you enter the zone, then you'll get teleported, aka killed, depending on what you're doing. So I'm going to just put that down there for now. And you want to wire, take the left wire, this thing. And wire each side to it. Each side. Actually, only the left and right. Then that's it. Then on this one, you'll want to wire this. And that. And let me just remove this one. So after that, you also want to wire this. <coughs> Sorry. This one, only this one. Which is, for me, it's kind of the right, I mean the left side. But you'll want to wire this to the trigger volume. So when it's moving, then it would go that. So depending how far you want it to go, that's how far it would go. And mine is just going a little bit far. Not that far, though. So I'm going to just leave it like that. Then right after that, you'll want to get a look at ship. I mean, hold on. Look at gizmo in the gizmos area. And what you want to do after that is really important. This is the only way for it to actually chase or look at the player. And you'll need an animation gizmo, actually, for your robot thing to chase. So let me just wire the, this thing with the little hook. Wire it to only the monster, only the monster. Okay? And you'll want to make sure it's on one, on the play thing. And you'll also want to make sure you wire the wire to it so that it can also be in the animation <laughs> and if you want to add music to the monster which i won't but uh, but i'll act like i will like singapore then you can also add that to the animation but uh we're not gonna be doing that in this video and yeah so what you want to do is make you see this little look at thing you're gonna you're gonna wire the top edge of this to this little whatever your monster is and you, whatever it is whatever it is you have to move it to fix how it looks a little bit uh, right there i think and then you can unwire it because it depends where it goes so when it's looking then it can then it can actually look so wherever you can wherever it's gonna be you're gonna configure it. It says target type object. You're gonna ch you're gonna change that to player. And there's the little roll thing. It says tracking multiple tagged objects. Average roll and choose tracking tracking target. You can choose whatever you want. Uh, I wouldn't recommend left or right hand, but I'd rec recommend you do head because it's the best one. I don't know why, but uh, you want to go to roll after that. Name the role, chip, whatever you want. But uh, it's gonna, I'm just gonna name it Monster M for Monster. <laughs> M S for Monster C. Uh, that's what makes no sense. But you want to get your role mapping chip, and you want to go to role mapping, and it says M S. Just click that, and there's a little mode on top. You want to click that. It says player has role. Change that to add player role. And then you want to spawn in another trigger volume, depending how big you want it. Unless you're making a game, you just want a game start thing. And when the game started, then then it would give everybody that roll. When game ended, it would remove it. But we're not going to be doing that. So you want to make a trigger volume. And then you're going to wire when entering zone to the player. One right here. So when it when they when the players enter that zone, it will give them the MS roll. After that, then you'll want to configure the lock and make sure it's on decoration. Sorry about the quietness. After that, you'll want to 
this one you just swipe here this to it. All right, you want to configure this a little button. Chains, you don't want a smoothing amount because it might go a little slow. Wire it, wire the bottom part to the block, just like that. And right after that, then what you want to do is wire the top also to the block. Let me just unwire, unwire the bottom and wire the top. And then move it, move it back to where its original spot was. I bet other players, people who do this, uh, would do it in different ways. This is how I always do mine. So, I accidentally ran into the thing, but that's proving how it works. Then, right after that, you'll want to, let's see, configure the pistons. And you'll want to see on each piston, there's something that says, move to target. Turn that on on every single one side. Turn that on on every side. Right there. Here. So now, right after that, uh, I think people might not use this, but you'll want to get a 